I believe it was 2013 was the first year that we had a Mississippi Yangtze Symposium where we basically brought together researchers from each of those river basins and, and brought them together to have some presentations on the different types of work. We're basically trying to compare um, what the types of research going on in the Yangtze and the research going on in the Mississippi. And then we've been doing that symposium every two years, every two years um, since that time. And, and it alternates. So one year it'll be in the United States and it's hosted through the American Fisheries Society. Right. And then we have it in the other years in, yeah, in China. China. Yeah, China Society of Fisheries. Mm -hmm. The China Society of Chinese Society of Fisheries. Before the symposium started, I know that there was a relationship between the Fish and Wildlife Service and, mm -hmm. and the LMRCC um, and, um, and and China as well, um, basically exchanging ideas. And I think that's really the, um, the bottom line in, in all of this is being able to kind of compare what's being done in each of the countries and learn from each other um, mm -hmm. because there are similarities in, in terms of the re the natural resources there, but also in terms of the rivers being multifunctional rivers. So they're being used for lots of different purposes for, you know, for flood control, for navigation, for hydropower generation. Um, so, I, so there's a lot of similarities there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got uh, common challenges and issues as well. So the two re river basins play very important roles for both countries and the continents. The purpose for our trip this time is coming to U.S. and we try to find a model, you know, how people really work together, different agencies, how they coordinated to mm -hmm. do the same thing. In the lower, you know, it's kind of different, flow, free, free flowing. So this similar situation in Yangtze, you know, lower, no, pretty much no dams, so right. wa water flowing freely. But uh, we also got a pretty nice secondary channels as well. From what we learned, you know, in the past two years, we found uh, many more fish fishes in the secondary channel. The Mississippi Yangtze Symposium is in China this year in October, okay. and so um, there will hopefully be a group of folks from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and some other researchers yeah, um, in the uh, United States. Six six people from U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services mm -hmm. right now. Right. That, that yeah. we're trying to get over there for for that symposium and and some site visits. Right? Yeah, that's right. In that's October. Right.